Hello, um, today I'll be showing you how to install uh, the open filer software on your uh, virtual box. So I'll be opening the virtual box. So as you can see that I've already installed one. Since I've tried multiple times on version 2.9 and it did not work. So I will show you how to, in the first video I will be showing you how to install the open filer 2.3 final version and uh, the next video I will show you how to install the latest one as well. So select Linux 1264 bit, no sorry, other Linux, okay so now here no matter how much RAM you have, 1 GB will be more than efficient. So, yeah. 8 GB is more than enough. Open file 2.3. So you give create. So now you go to its settings, system, remove the floppy. Uh, you need to enable this for uh, the 32 bit operating system to run, or else it will give you an error saying that uh, please boot with the appropriate kernel so display 64 will be enough um, storage okay here you go and you select this icon so i'm presently on the latest version i guess yes it is uh, 5.2.2 so you go to the settings storage so click on this icon add new storage controller SCSI controller okay. here create new disk so we'll be allocating this to 20 GB and uh, this one I'll be naming it as uh, SAN1 okay. let's add another hard drive okay. and uh, say 20 GB I'm doing a sand too. Okay. So now it's done. So you go you go here and you select the 2.3 x86 32 bit one. So you can just search in Google to be getting it. And uh, network. So the first one we will not be using it. So it's the adapter one is not attached. Adapter two enable it and we'll put it as host only. And uh, PR100 empty set. Okay. So I'm disabled to controller share folders and I guess that's it so now you start it so this is the graphical installer so press enter We skip this part. The installation is pretty easy, it takes only a few minutes, but uh, the major part comes next. Sometimes I get this problem where the mouse doesn't get properly moved here. It is all data, yes. So you see a 20 GB hard drive and an 80 GB hard drive here. So what, you know, what I'm going to do is unselect these. Okay, keep all partitions. Next. So basically, the root is going to be installed in the 8 GB. So the RAID volume or the main hard disk from which it will be booting up is the 8 GB volume. You can use the other two for other RAID experiments or anything. So what we'll be doing here is you, as you have and disabled the first Ethernet zero, so it's of no use. So we're going to select the Ethernet one. Did. So now this is the tricky part. You're supposed to configure this. So what I'm going to do is, I am. Um, 
going to run run cmd okay. now what you're supposed to do is the virtual machine that you're running here has to be in the same network as the pc to get the web administration gui so what you're going to do is open ip config and you can see that i'm not right now connected to the internet okay. i log on to the internet okay, now i'm connected to the internet so i'll run it again okay so as you can see that virtual host only network has this address right now apparently it's set it up for the past uh, open file so what i'll be doing right now is you have to see this so the first three octets represent the network you're in and this four number can be anything so you just have to change this so that the os you're configuring will be configuring will be in the same network as this pc is so considering the ipv4 so for example if you have an ethernet connected to your pc so you will have to take that IP address and change accordingly as well. Since my laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi, I'll be using this IP address. So going back, so wait, uh, ours is 192.168.100.4. So I will be using 192.168.100. Okay, 192.168.100. Uh, take a random number, for example, 209. Okay, so the subnet task will be slash 24. Okay, so now click OK. Now we need to give a default gateway. So 192.168.100.254. We'll be giving the same again. Oops. Okay, so this is all you have to do so that it works properly okay so ethernet 0 is unconfigured ethernet 1 is configured to the same network and the default gateway is given as 254 so since i'm doing it in india i'll be selecting asia calcutta so now root password you can give anything so this has to be six characters so I'm just going to type A to L in the keyboard like A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L and you click next for the installation to complete so I'll come back when the installation is complete so the installation is done and it's running some post installation scripts and after this it is going to ask for a reboot okay now the system reboot only the virtual box reboot so i'm making this video since i found way too many people uh, you know really bothering on searching youtube on different places to install it um i couldn't do it in the first attempt as well so i had to go through a lot of websites a lot of pdfs installation instructions to do this so you can follow these instructions if you have any doubt um, you can ask okay so it says complete so now i'm going to do reboot So just allow it to reboot press enter okay. so if you hadn't clicked that system settings as enable PAE you'll be getting an error here saying that uh, you need a kernel to boot so it's booting up So when you are trying to install this for the first time, uh, I recommend that you have a lot of patience. Um, 
waiting for it to get get it as soon as possible or getting it over with as quick as possible is not the right attitude to install it because this is uh, even though being a linux operating system it works in a totally different way unlike ubuntu or uh, centos where you can just directly install create credentials and login this has a web administration gui where you need to type in the address that is mentioned on the screen onto your chrome and then start accessing it through a username and password okay so it's displayed here so as you can see it says 100.209 as i've configured okay so now let me log in it's root and the password you set log in so now i'm gonna go for if config since it's relax and yes as you can see it is in the same address the broadcast address is this the mask is uh, as i've mentioned so everything is fair and working fine so it's since it's 192 168 so let's just uh, try to ping it and see if it is able to communicate uh, ping 192 So it says unreachable okay because since it's 100.4 and uh, as we've seen in the ip config the host only network is at 43.8 so it's on a totally different network as compared to the ip we have so you're supposed to have it on the same address. so what do we do now so what you're supposed to do is let's minimize this so go to the virtual box okay here file preference or you can directly go to host network manager since it says 43 okay and then this is on uh, 100.209 so what i'll be doing is be changing this to 100.5 since my pc is on 4 let's put the next number as 5 okay and now i'm going to click apply yes so it's configured okay now i'm going to close this okay now let's jump back to the okay. now i'm going to press exit and what you have to do right now is uh, type in this ip address with http okay if you if you don't type it with http it says it cannot open so, so you're supposed to type it as https and this entire thing for the open file login to come so I type here okay 192.168.100.209 it's already there okay so https came in automatically if it doesn't come you have to type it in I have no idea why it isn't coming this time, but uh, I guess my uh, internet has become a little slow, so just have to wait for my router to respond. Mm, 
why is it coming yes yes finally it is here so it basically says it will not be secure so what you're gonna have to do is go to advanced settings click on visit this unsafe site anyway so i'm gonna type in the open filer as the username and uh, password is the password with uh, uh, password itself is p a s s w o r d all in lower case so when you hit enter to the the UI, the web administration UI is easily accessible. So this way you can go to anything here. For example, it's just the volume, the quota that is there already. It's taking some time in volumes. Uh, services. You're, gonna, you're supposed to enable this SCSI server for anything to be done because we've added SCSI uh, hard drives when doing it. You're supposed to enter the network name and the network address for which it is configured. So you can do anything that is required here. So remember we gave 254 for configuring and the primary DNS is taken up for this Wi-Fi. In case you connect to a different mobile hotspot or a different Wi-Fi or a different local network or a different Ethernet you're supposed to reinstall it again I tried just by reconfiguring the host only network it works no it doesn't work that way so you're supposed to reinstall it to work so I recommend that you I recommend that to avoid such problems do install this on desktop where you won't change the connections frequently or uh, to a mobile hotspot where you don't use any other Wi-Fi connection while using this so make sure you are on the same connection every time you use this so that's all for video thank you for uh, you know thank you for watching this and uh, please do share it to others so that others can uh, make use of this video and uh, hope i was helpful and information informative about all the errors that you usually face while uh, installing this so thank you and i'll be back with a uh, another awesome video in a few days. Thank you.